Hi, and welcome back to Washington County Public Schools Twitter training. This is session five, and today we want to talk about how can Twitter be useful to educators, how to connect with others, and then discovering resources to use on Twitter. I thought we could do this by highlighting one of our schools that actually uses Twitter on a very regular basis. That school is Salem Avenue Elementary School. So I'm going to come up here and search for them. And there they are. So as I wait for Salem's page to pop up, just a reminder that Twitter has millions of users. Some users simply like to see what's going on. Other users will post about everything that goes on during their day. And finally, some users like to get a little more in depth and use it as a way to forge their professional relationships. Seems that my internet is moving a little slow tonight. But here we go. So here is Salem's page. A little bit about Salem in the upper left hand corner. They've got 240 followers and I'm guessing probably the majority of them are going to be uh, parents of their elementary school students. So as we scroll down through their page, let's talk about a couple of things. First of all, we can talk about how they're connecting with others. Keith All's house has posted in here. Uh, just a little reminder that teachers don't teach for the income, they teach for the outcome. I know what that one says. I've seen that one and I love it. Talking about what goes on in school. They're sharing things that are going on in school. And as you scroll down, you'll find many different ways that Salem has reached out to their parents. So it is a great way to reach your parents. It's a great way to send reminders to them. I do see some um, schools and some educators will go out and they will leave reviews on lessons. So sometimes they'll leave um, student reminders about things that are coming up, such as homework or test reminders. I've seen some of them use links to websites that they want their parents and their students to take a look at. So as you can see, Salem Avenue does a great job of getting information out there to their parents. I've also seen it used as a collaboration tool. For collaboration, let's go ahead and take a look at a hashtag that I do follow frequently. It's EdChat. So I'm going to search Twitter for hashtag EdChat and see what it comes up with. What we're going to find is anyone who has used this hashtag, all of their comments are going to be listed together. Before we had talked about using the WCPSMD chat, and it shows you all the Twitter chats that our educators are having on Tuesday nights. It's a great way to get out there and take a look at what's going on. So as I scroll down through EdChat's page, they have an article on even instructional coaches need coaching. So true. We've got to learn it somewhere. Um, links to lessons. And also look, if you take a look on here, you'll see, whoa, sorry. Let me get back to where I was just showing you. You will see um, at signs followed by someone's name. If you hover over them, you can see who they are. So Spike C. Cook is an elementary principal, husband, father, education blogger. And if he's somebody I think that I might want to follow, I, again, I can follow him right here by coming down and hitting the follow button. So not only can I scroll down through Ed, Ed Chat's page just to see what in the world they're talking about, because they always know what's going on in the world of education, but I can also find people that I wish to follow. We Are Teachers is another great group. So as you scroll down, take a look, see if there's anything that might interest you. If there's something that you really like, you can always re retweet it. Um, MindShift has one on here on how to normalize mistake making and, and struggle in the class. If I want to retweet that, just a reminder, I can come down to my retweet button. I can add a comment of my own if I wish, but I don't really think I want to. I just want to retweet it as is. So I'm going to hit retweet. And it's going to show up on my page. So, you can use Twitter to find great conversations that are going on. Um, you can also find it to find people to follow. And I'm going to go back to my page now. I'm just going to go to my home page, which is my Twitter feed. And I'm going to put a few of the hashtags out there that are worth following. And I'm going to start it off with ours. 
And I'm also going to add a few more that I have copied and I wanted to just paste in here to save time. Some of the hashtags, WCPSMDChat. Again, I have to spell it correctly for it to work. And I'm going to paste the other ones in here. So there was EdChat, SSChat, KinderChat, CPChat, NTChat, ElementaryChat, Edscape, um, TLC, uh, TLChat, Subject, and EdCampKC. So those are all some that you might want to take a look at when you have time. So today we talked about how Twitter is useful for educators. We've talked about how to connect with others by using hashtags and looking through different people's Twitter feeds to find out some people that you may wish to follow and how to find and share these resources with your parents. I do appreciate you watching today. And please remember, if you have any questions on this, please talk to your instructional technology specialist. They'd be more than happy to help you out however they can. Thank you for watching.